Have you ever looked at one of your pictures and wondered what can I do to this picture to make it that little bit more exciting or make it that little bit more interesting, you know, make it stand out that little bit more? Well today I'm going to show you what I can do. I'm going to take this simple picture of a guitar and by the end of this video I'm going to have converted it into this picture using a few simple steps and I'll run you through every one of these steps and hopefully you'll like it, maybe try it for yourselves. Okay, so this is the guitar. So basically, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take one picture of the guitar that you saw at the start of the video, but I'm gonna just take it with the camera here, looking up the guitar, and then by the end, I'm gonna blend the strings, this long tube here, into a train track, and then it'll look like the train's like puffing down the guitar strings, but blending into a track. Now this video is more about the editing process than the photography aspect, so taking this picture of the guitar will take a tiny amount of time. I'm gonna use my 30 millimeter lens, on f1.8 and use whatever sort of speed you want as long as it's not blurry. So we'll take that photo and then we'll get straight into editing. Hopefully we can cover all the steps in like two or three minutes and you'll be sorted. Okay, so this is the picture I took of the guitar. As you can see, it's at a low angle and I can see that circle in front of the guitar, the kind of hole that you play the chords over or whatever, play the strings over. I don't know what it's called, I'm not too technical on guitar. So when we take the train track photo that we're going to blend in with the guitar strings, it's really important that the both pictures have been taken at the same level. So it means that when you blend them together, the strings and the guitar are at the same angle as the train track, so it's a smooth transition. So if I have the guitar here and I take one photo looking like this, as you can see the lines are all going to be really low, it's going to be really close to my eye. And then if I take my train picture from up here looking down and I try and blend those two, it's not going to work because one picture is going to be looking flat across the horizon and then one picture is going to be looking diagonal if you know what I mean. So make sure they're both at the same angle, it'll make blending so much easier and you won't have to fiddle around with reshaping and editing and all that kind of stuff. So first thing I did, I opened up my guitar picture. As you can see, not a great picture at all, but it's cool that we can make something so simple into something so cool. So I raised everything else out of the picture apart from the guitar area. I even got rid of the second half of the guitar, just the main body and then part of the string. Then I got my picture of the train track. I lined it up with the guitar, with the lines of the guitar. I needed to use a bit of reshape, but you can just use transform, squeeze the picture in, reshape to make sure the lines of the train track are in line with the lines of the guitar because obviously they're different structure, they're different like elements, there's different poles going in and out. The train track's kind of doing a, a U-shape thing and the guitar is horizontal line so it's gonna be hard to blend them. So just line them up vaguely in line, use reshape to just technically get them more correct and then use the eraser tool, use it on a very light setting and just slowly paint away so you're gonna have like half guitar half train track and then blend it in. As you can see, it's just fading into the picture. They're both blending into each other. Now, when I did that, I realized there's one big thing wrong with this picture. If you can see it now, it's pretty obvious. After I tell you, you'll be like, yeah, that makes so much sense. So when I took the original photo, there was a reflection in the window. So the picture ended up coming out with a reflection in the right side of the body of the guitar. Now, if you look at the sky, the sun is in the top left of the picture. So if I have that big reflection on the bottom right and the sun's on top left, it's not gonna be realistic. So I mirror flip the whole guitar over, therefore now the sun is going to be looking like it's reflecting off the guitar, turning out to work out really nicely, otherwise we would have had to add in that reflection to make it seem more realistic. And this is what you come out with, and I think that result is actually pretty cool. It's so cool that you can take something as simple as just a photo of a guitar and a photo of a train track. Individually, they might be cool, but they might be kind of simple. Merge them together, it's really exciting, it's a fun thing to do and it looks awesome. It's just a really simple trick to do, you take a picture of guitar, put it as one layer, take a picture of train track, put it as another layer, erase the area of the guitar layer until the point where all you've left is the body of the guitar and a few strings and then line it up with the train track and then took a few edits on it. So if you did like this video, you learned any little trick or tip along the way, make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you tried the picture yourself or anything, just tag me on Instagram, we'd love to see you guys try it, maybe I'll share a few good ones to my story. You never know, just tag me if you give it a go and make sure to tap subscribe before you leave, I'd appreciate it if you did and until then, catch you in the next video.